China has just made a monumental leap in space communication technology. Imagine transmitting vast amounts of satellite data, not over slow, limited microwave frequencies, but at lightning speed using lasers. That's exactly what China's new laser communication ground station on the Pamir Plateau is achieving. With speeds that can be hundreds of times faster than traditional methods, this system is revolutionizing how we receive critical satellite information. In this video, we'll explore how this technology works, why it's a game changer for space operations, and what it means for the future of global satellite communication. Stay tuned to discover how laser technology is transforming our connection to space. China's new laser communication system represents a monumental shift from the microwave-based systems that have been used for decades. Currently, satellites primarily rely on microwaves to send data to the ground, which have inherent limitations, especially in bandwidth. For example, the Kashgar ground station in China previously handled data at speeds of around 6 gigabytes per second. But now, thanks to laser communication, that speed is expected to skyrocket to several hundred GB per second. Why does this matter? Well, think about it like this microwave transmission is like a narrow, single-lane highway, while laser transmission opens up a superhighway with hundreds or even thousands of lanes. This allows for significantly more data to be transmitted in less time. In fact, a high-definition movie could be sent from a satellite to Earth in just one second using this system. That's 10 to 1,000 times faster than what traditional methods can handle. Laser communication has additional advantages, too. It's more efficient in terms of size and power consumption. Satellites can be smaller and lighter because laser systems don't require the heavy, bulky equipment that microwaves need. Plus, laser communications are more secure. Since they are highly directional and have a smaller beam divergence, they are far less prone to interference. But shifting to laser communication is no simple feat. Atmospheric conditions, such as weather and turbulence, can affect the performance of laser communications. This is why China's selection of the Pamir Plateau for its laser communication station is so significant. The region offers excellent visibility and a dry, stable climate, ideal for consistent year-round operation. One of the greatest challenges in the realm of satellite to ground communication is the sheer volume of data generated by modern satellites, which is growing exponentially with advancements in space technology. Traditionally, satellites rely on microwave-based systems to transmit data to Earth. While these systems have served their purpose, they are beginning to hit significant bandwidth limitations. This is where China's innovative laser communication system steps in. Unlike microwaves, laser systems offer vastly increased bandwidth allowing for data to be transmitted at far higher speeds. To put it into perspective, the new system on the Pamir Plateau can transmit data at hundreds of gigabytes per second, a dramatic improvement over the previous system, which peaked at around 6 gigabytes per second. However, transmitting large volumes of data at such speeds isn't without its challenges. One of the most significant hurdles is atmospheric interference. Weather conditions such as clouds, rain, and turbulence can all disrupt the transmission of laser signals. To counteract this, China's decision to build the laser communication ground station on the Pamir Plateau was strategic. The high altitude of the station reaching up to 4,800 meters above sea level minimizes atmospheric disturbances and provides clear skies for much of the year. The region's stable, dry climate ensures consistent, year-round operation, making it an ideal location for such a system. Beyond the technical aspects, China has designed the station to operate remotely, reducing the need for personnel to be physically present in this high-altitude, challenging environment. The system has already completed its first operational trial, during which it transmitted large volumes of high-quality satellite data from space to Earth. This success proves that the laser communication system is not only feasible but also highly reliable, even under less-than-ideal conditions. In addition to overcoming environmental challenges, this system significantly enhances China's ability to manage and utilize satellite data. By drastically reducing transmission times, it enables quicker access to critical data for scientific research, environmental monitoring, and national security. 
The system's successful operation marks a major step forward in improving the speed and efficiency of global satellite data management, positioning China as a leader in next-generation communication technologies. China's successful deployment of the laser communication ground station has vast implications for the future of space operations, not just domestically but globally. At its core, this new technology addresses a long-standing issue the need for faster and more secure transmission of data from satellites. Traditional microwave systems, while reliable, are becoming obsolete in the face of rapidly increasing data demands. With lasers now capable of transmitting data hundreds of times faster, the groundwork is being laid for a new era in space communication. This new system offers transformative potential across various sectors. For instance, remote sensing satellites play a crucial role in monitoring environmental changes, tracking natural disasters, and collecting scientific data on a global scale. The ability to transmit this data in real time is essential for making informed decisions quickly, especially in disaster response scenarios where every second counts. By accelerating data transmission, China's laser communication technology allows for faster response times and better informed decisions, enhancing both environmental protection and disaster relief efforts. Additionally, the implications for national security are profound. Satellites are increasingly used for military reconnaissance and intelligence gathering, and the ability to send high-quality, secure data at unprecedented speeds offers a significant advantage. The highly directional nature of laser communication also makes it less prone to interception and jamming, providing enhanced security features that are critical in sensitive operations. Looking forward, China's new system is likely just the beginning. Plans are already underway to expand the network of laser communication stations, further enhancing the reliability and speed of satellite data transmission. This could lead to a global shift in how satellite communications are handled with more countries adopting similar technologies to keep up. The reduced size, weight, and power consumption of laser systems also make them more cost-effective, opening the door for wider adoption in both government and commercial sectors. China's laser communication ground station not only solves immediate challenges in data transmission, but also sets the stage for future innovations in space technology. By pushing the boundaries of what is possible, China is paving the way for more efficient, secure, and rapid satellite communication systems that will benefit a wide range of industries and applications. China's new laser communication ground station represents a significant breakthrough in satellite data transmission. By transitioning from traditional microwave systems to faster, more efficient laser communication, China has not only solved a pressing problem in its space operations, but also set the stage for future advancements. With its ability to transmit vast amounts of data quickly, this technology will enhance everything from scientific research to global security. As China continues to develop and expand its network of laser communication stations, we can expect even more exciting innovations in the field of space technology. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.